This is American English Expressions. I'm Lori, and I've got great news. The transcript study guide for this episode is free. That's right, free. Just click the link in this episode's description. You'll be able to follow along and sharpen your listening skills, plus read more examples, plus you'll find a bonus expression, and it's free. In this episode, you'll learn five common expressions in under five minutes. To know something like the back of one's hand, to ride someone's coattails, to bend over backwards, to keep someone posted, and a light at the end of the tunnel. Don't forget to get your free transcript study guide. Let's get started. Have you ever been to a Disney theme park? I've been to so many Disney parks so many times that I know their layouts like the back of my hand. Like the back of my hand. If you know something like the back of your hand, you are very familiar with it. Recently, one of my nine-year-old students went to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida for the first time. I helped her mom plan their vacation. My little student didn't believe me when I told her I knew the parks there like the back of my hand. So to test me, she texted me photos of herself in various spots around the theme parks. Each photo was carefully framed so that I could only see a tiny clue as to her whereabouts. This game and her photos were adorable. And the best part was her shocked reaction every time I pinpointed her location. She kept saying, how did you know where I was? And I would say, I told you, I know Disney World like the back of my hand. Not only have I been fortunate enough to visit Disney World many times, I've been able to go with the biggest Disney fan ever, my mom. She's a Disney Vacation Club member, which means she gets lots of special perks, like staying in a nice hotel and merchandise discounts. When we travel together, I get to enjoy those perks too as her guest. Every time she invites me to Disney World, I ride her coattails. Ride her coattails. If you say you're riding someone's coattails, it means whatever special treatment they get, you get just by knowing them, not because you did anything special. So when I travel to Disney World with my mom, I ride her coattails and take advantage of her high status just by doing nothing except being her guest. Every time we travel together, we have some sort of adventure. Some good, some not so good. This one was not so good, but it was memorable. Here's a Lori story. On this particular trip, my mom lost her backpack. We went to guest services to see if anyone had found it and turned it in, but it wasn't there. What's exceptional about Disney employees, called cast members, is that they bend over backwards for you. Bend over backwards. We use this expression to indicate someone making a big effort. This one cast member really bent over backwards for us. She called all of the previous attractions we had visited to ask if anyone had seen a backpack. She also gave us some stickers to cheer us up because it's not a fun experience to lose something. Then she took our information and said she'd keep us posted. Keep us posted. To keep someone posted means to follow up with news. So when the cast member said she'd keep us posted, we knew this meant that if there were any updates, good or bad, she'd contact us. Just then, it started pouring rain. Florida is a tropical state, so it's known for hurricanes and thunderstorms, but this was unbelievable. I've never been in the middle of such a torrential downpour. We had to walk back to our hotel, which was very far away. We trudged through the water, soaking wet even with our ponchos and umbrellas. Suddenly, my mom called out, Look! A light at the end of the tunnel! A light at the end of the tunnel. We weren't really in a tunnel, and there was no light. What she meant was that our hotel, while still far away, was clearly in view. We use the expression, a light at the end of the tunnel, to mean that a difficult experience is coming to an end. Now about you. What do you know like the back of your hand? Your neighborhood? Your child's likes and dislikes? Have you ever ridden someone's coattails? What fun stuff did you get just by knowing them? Can you remember a time you bent over backwards for someone? Or they bent over backwards for you? I know a way you can keep me posted on your English progress and tell me if you've heard these expressions before. Email me your stories at laurie at americanenglishexpressions.com. Laurie is spelled L-A-U-R-I-E. Have you been struggling to understand English expressions? Well, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and that's your free transcript study guide. The link is in this episode's description. P.S. They did find my mom's backpack. Thanks for listening. <laughs>